those speakers of general human languages, I guess. <laughs> that one went awry. <laughs> Hello, denizens of the internet. This is Dust Motes and Melicor. I am Kim, and today we're going to do an unboxing video. <laughs> so a few weeks ago I got an email asking if I wanted to participate, and I definitely do. So uh, here we go. Let's get started. Here is the box. It is about to be unboxed. I'm so excited. This magical box was personally created and boxed just for you by D.E. Knight. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. The Crowns of Croswald by D.E. Knight. Ooh, <laughs> I like the tissue paper. They printed the tissue paper as like a little newspaper. <laughs> Okay, this is like some serious whimsy going on. Ooh. What on earth is this? And how on earth do I open it? Okay, here we go. Whoa! Okay, that is beautiful. It's a Glenagery bottle. Oh my goodness, that's so beautiful. Huh. I wonder if I can put like a fairy light in there. Okay, this made me really happy. And some business cards. Glen Ashery bottle instructions. Note that there is a small white tab inside the light casement that must be removed before the Glen Ashery will turn on. Hey, hey! Look at that! This is adorable! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you for the instructions, because apparently I needed them. The Glenagery bottle is a vessel full of charmed spring water, invented by dwarves as a tool to develop and practice magical skills within the supposedly safe confines of imagined space. The glowing viscous water magnifies magic and enables mythic scenarios concocted by the bottle's owner. The bottle's escapades and dramas are shaped by the owner's thoughts and only limited by his or her imagination. Popularized by Professor Philbert Phoenix in the Halls of Ivy, Glenagery bottles are now widely recognized as a powerful teaching tool. However, the inherent dangers of a bottle must not be underestimated. Glenageries are the ultimate potion of the mind where ideas, dreams, and fears, and magic simmer together for out-of-this-world experiences. As evidenced by the Glenagery bottle, an untethered imagination can take you to limitless places. Winsome Monkle. Okay, this is adorable. <laughs> Ooh, it's a letter. Siri, define scrivenist. According to Siri, scrivenist is not a word, so I don't feel bad about not knowing how to pronounce it. <laughs> Dear reader, every scrivenist has a story, and this is mine. I write to you from an old barn, my family's barn. The first thing that hits me when I roll back the big, green doors is the sweet, warm smell of hay. The second is how much tack hangs from the cedar-clad walls. It's a barn that is home to 24 horses, and that means a lot of racks. Turnout blankets, saddles, reins, cabinets full of liniment and brushes, and just about everything else. From a young age, I always found myself fascinated by great big beasts and magical imaginings. I love coming home to this barn where the first tickles of creativity stir. I like to imagine the beginnings of Croswald were tucked into a trunk amongst the others here. Maybe this imaginary trunk was buried beneath mounds of broken tools and boxes, like the story was buried in me. I imagine that if it existed, this trunk would be different than the rest of the plots of the barn. Older, more worn, like it had traveled a great distance across many, many years. It would be heavy, meant to be durable, but the top might have an elegant convex curve, and the brass strappings had a beautiful patina. The wood would definitely be painted purple, my favorite color, and the color of scrimmage. I felt the same curiosity and wonder at the story found in me, the one I now share with you, dear reader. 
a story about a young, spirited girl that sets out on a fantastical adventure, despite being unsure of where her journey will lead. Thank you for coming along to the Stories Untold, D.E. Night. I'm going to take a closer picture of that one as well. But look at that. And the book! The Crowns of Croswell by D.E. Knight. In Croswell, the only thing more powerful than dark magic is one secret. For 16 years, Ivy Lovely has been hidden behind an enchanted boundary that separates the mundane from the magical. When Ivy crosses the border, her powers awaken. Curiosity leads her crashing through a series of adventures at the Halls of Ivy a school where students learn to master their magical blood and the power of Croswell's mysterious gems. When Ivy's magic and her life is threatened by the Dark Queen, she scrambles to unearth her history and save Croswell before the truth is swept away forever. This was described to me as brimming with whimsy and adventure, with steampunk undertones and a gutsy heroine, and those are words that just make my soul sing. I am so excited to read this book. Thank you so much, D.E. Knight, for including me in celebrating your new book. I'm so excited to read it, and I will definitely post a spoiler-free review as soon as I'm done with it. Humans of Earth, let me know if you have read this book and what you thought. I'd love to start a discussion. Until then, happy info!